So here we're asked to work with rules of indices and expanding uh, brackets. So if we look at some of the rules of indices first, so basically we've got to remember some uh, patterns. So if we take any value to the power of um, a number, m say, times the same base number to the power of n, then the rule says that we can add two powers. So if I had something like five squared times five cubed, then the rule says it would be the same as 5 to the power of 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. It works because 5 times 5 is squared, times 5 times 5 times 5, which is cubed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 has been multiplied, hence the reason it's 5 to the power of 5. So that's um, the rule we'll be using uh, here. We've got a times going on with the same base of t. Here we've got the same base again when we're timesing. Here though we've got something slightly different, so we've got to remember our other rules that some base to the power of m, when that is raised to another power, then the rule says that we can take the two powers and multiply them when one has been raised to the power of another one. So simple example, if I had two cubed that was squared, then the answer would be two to the power of six. The reason that it works is two cubed squared means two cubed times two cubed. <coughs> and because we have the rule up here, and we can add the powers, two to the power of six. So the quick way of doing it is multiply the two powers. So we've got here t times t to the power of four times t to the power of five, add the two powers, then we end up with t to the power of nine. Here we've got to be really careful, we're doing times in the two base, so times in the two numbers here, two, two coefficients. So 3 times 4 is 12, but here we've got um, s squared times s to the power of 4, so we add those two powers to get s to the power of 6. Here we've got q cubed to the power of 4, well the rule says that we multiply the two powers, so 3 times 4 is 12. Expanding brackets means multiply and remove the bracket. So we've got two things going on here. We've got 3 times 2k and we've got 3 times minus 1, negative 1. So 3 times 2k is 6k, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, so minus 3. Uh, another way of thinking of that, if you prefer it, is you could do a box 3, 2k minus 1. So 3 times 2k is 6k, 3 times minus 1 or 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So in the box you get 6k, take away 3. Again here we've got expand and simplify. So we've got lots of methods that we could use to do this. It's a double bracket. Um, some people like the grid, so we'll go for the grid. So we've got x and positive 5. We've got x and negative 3. And we're timesing. So x times x, x squared. x times plus 5 is positive 5x x times negative 3 is negative 3x, and negative 3 times negative positive 5 is negative 15. We can see here we've got two like terms, so we've got 5x's take away 3x's, so that's going to leave me with 2x. So altogether out of here then I get x squared plus 2x, negative 15 minus 15. Another way of thinking of this, uh, some people that like to do first out in the last, so FOIL. So we've got x times x, which is x squared, first, outer, so positive 5 times negative 3 is negative 15, inner, so we've got 5 times x, so plus 5x, and then we've got x times negative 3, so negative 3x. So again, when we look at this, we've got x squared, we've got 5x's take away 3x's, which is positive 2x left, and then we've got negative 15 on the end. So either way, we ended up with the same answer. Depends on the method you prefer using. So a quick run through of rules of indices and expanding brackets.